Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to show you today how to train your own custom Flux Dev LoRa's on Astria.ai. You may have seen a lot of people do this lately, like post <coughs> really cool selfies on uh, on X. And these are all uh, custom trained LoRa's made with the, the awesome new um, Flux. AI checkpoint for images. So how do you do this? Well, there's various ways of doing it. I've seen people do it on replicate and hugging face and all that kind of stuff. Looks a little complicated to me. Um, I didn't know about those ways. I only know Astria and that's where I've been doing this stuff and it could not be easier and the results were absolutely stunning as you may have seen on my timeline. So I thought I'd share with you guys how this works. You'll be amazed with how easy this is. So let's get right into it. First, you go to astria.ai. And once you get there, you create an account and then you go to this menu, you go add to balance, and then you add some money to your account because, you know, it's not free, obviously. So the default is $5. I would go with $25 and that'll give you enough to play for a while. $5 is, I believe, the price for one fine tune. So if you want to render more images, you, you're going to have to put in more than that. I would say $10 as a minimum. But, you know, if you're going to play with this for a while, I would, I would recommend something like $25. But that's up to you. Let's go back here. Let's assume that you've done that. I have still $21.87 left in my account, so I don't need to do that right now. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on Tunes here in the menu. So that's what you're going to do. And there's a bunch of stuff here visible that I've already done. But for you, if you've never done this, this, this section is going to be empty. But you're going to click New Fine Tune. And then you're going to give that a name, Marcos Mug, for example. Then you have to pick a class name. And this menu has a bunch of options. Man, woman, dog, cat, boy, girl, style. So you can do style also. However, um, you can put whatever you want. Like if it's, for example, an object. Like I did a water bottle. I'll show you some of that stuff later. You can type in here water bottle and then click add water bottle and now that's your class name this is needed for the prompt later on and we'll get to that when uh, when we're all done so let's say in this case it's my face so i'm gonna hit man and i'm gonna choose files i have a directory of selfies here here you can see a bunch of selfies from the past few years um you can select all those and put them in. These are 28 selfies, but let me tell you, it says upload eight to 16 images of the subject or anything between four and 30. So apparently 30 is the maximum. So don't try to put more than that. And then it says 10 portrait shoulders up, four medium shot photos from the waist up and two to four full body shots. Now, I haven't done that. Mine are only just face selfies or like shoulder and up, which is working fine for me. But if you want to make sure, if you want to do full body shots and you want to make sure that your body proportions are actually accurate, you're going to want uh, some, some more of those. I don't care about that. So I just went with regular selfies. Then when you're done, you're going to hit create. It's going to upload all those selfies and then it's going to start the training. So nothing else to configure. This is all there is. Now, what's going to happen is under tunes, you can see I started one here a while ago. <coughs> and it says processing about four hours. So it does take a while before this is done. Um, usually for me, it hasn't taken that long, but two to three hours you're going to have to count on. So at this point, you're going to go do something else while this trains. Now, when it's done, it'll it'll no longer say processing and it'll be here and you'll be able to use it. So I'm clicking this and now we're going to show you how to prompt for this. Now this part, this LoRa colon a number and then colon 1.0, 
that always needs to be in your prompt or it won't know to use that LoRa. So leave that part alone. Now, how do we prompt for this? It's very simple. We're going to say a, and then now this is where this um, token comes in. OHWX is what I put in there. So you're going to start OHWX and then the class name, which is in this case, man. And that's it. So you're going to say an OHWX man as a, let's see, kindergarten. Garden teacher. I can't type today. So let's try that, right? Oh, and, and then, oh yeah, now I'm going to, you, you click here on advanced because here you can set a bunch of things like width of the image, height of the image. I'm going to go with like, like uh, HD 1280 by 720. That's a pretty nice resolution. And then here you can set number, number of images. I set it to two, so it'll render a bit quicker. These width and heights, I think they're standard set to 512. So you're going to want to change this to whatever kind of dimensions you want but I, I put 7, 1280 by 720 two images and then the, the last thing I wanted to tell you guys is the seat by default it'll put 42 in there um, if you keep running the same prompt a couple times over and over again unfortunately you have to go in here and manually change that seat to something else or subsequent renders are going to give you the same images which is kind of annoying um, I wish they would randomize that, but they don't. So you have to go in there. If you ever notice like, oh, you know, I'm getting the same image across renders. It's because you didn't change that seat. Now you can close that again. The model here is flux dev. You do not change that. The style here, I usually leave it cinematic or photographic, but you, you can play with these other styles. I'm not going to do that for this video. So let's just how create image here. And now it's queued, and we have to wait a little while for that to render. <clears throat> Sorry. Now, while we render this, I'm going to show you something that I've done to increase the quality of this stuff a little bit. I created a quick custom GPT here on ChatGPT to help create these prompts because I discovered that Flux really likes long and elaborated prompts and they'll they'll give you better results so while that's that's you have to write like a whole essay almost i don't really like that so i created this gpt that basically does all that stuff for me now let's say um what do we want to be i'm gonna say i want to be a um medieval sorcerer in a fantasy movie let's try that i have no idea what's going to happen so that's all i want to be a medieval sorcerer in a fantasy movie and i i'm going to hit enter here it's first going to ask me what the token and the class name are so i'm going to say the token is o a what was it oh let me make sure i get this right it is OHWX. I'm going to say that. And then, the, and that's asking me for the class name. The class name is man. And I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to get a prompt. If I ask for more prompts, I don't have to keep typing that. Only the first time. So I'm going to say, I'm going to take this whole prompt. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go here back to Astria. And I'm pasting this whole thing in like that. I leave that lore a bit and everything else can stay and create image. Now, while that's creating, we can look at the ones that we just did. And here I am as a kindergarten teacher. There's even a, a kindergarten child in the background. Uh, let's look at the other one. This one is very funny because I actually have hair here and there's more kids in the background. So that's the kindergarten teacher. As you can see, these are okay, but these elaborated prompts typically give you a lot better results. So let's let's just wait real quick for um, for this to complete. But I can show you some of the things that I've done in the past, 
Let me look up some interesting ones. Here I am a battle heart, a medieval knight, and I wanted to kind of look like Game of Thrones. And as you can see, these are very cool, and they look, you know, they look the part, I would say. Uh, here, I like this one, too. Here I wanted to be a World War II fighter pilot. And there it is. It's even got the right plane in the background and all that good stuff. This is all done with my uh, GPT, by the way. I just say I wanted to be a World War II fighter pilot. Got the prompt. This came out. So that's pretty neat, if you ask me. Uh, this one's cool. Also, I wanted to be a Star Wars Jedi. That's very cool. Now look. There we go. Um... And this one is also, I wanted to be a hero in an Aliens movie. And I thought those came out pretty convincing as well. Now, I think the other one should be done, the one that we prompted for. Yeah, there it is. I'm a medieval sorcerer in a fantasy movie. This, this is great, I think. It even gave me long hair and all that. But face-wise, it's still me. So that's pretty neat. I don't know what these little strange stars are, but you can, you know, you can keep trying this one, I think, is really cool. So that's that. That's how it works. That's all there's to it. You don't have to use my GPT, of course, but it'll it'll usually give you uh, nicer results from my experience anyway. So um, what else can I show you here? When you go to the tune sections, you may have noticed that I have a object here. So you can also train for a water bottle. So here I have the class name, I put water bottle, and then the token, it, it, it used the same one, OHWX. And as you can see, close up shot of a water bottle in a vibrant urban setting, there's a bunch of extra stuff there, and you get really nice results of that water bottle. Here's some more stuff to show you. Here, the bottle is being held by a female mountaineer. It's pretty neat, right? It looks pretty good. Um, here, we have some gener amazing generic product shots. So here we have it in front of a beach, in the water, you know. They really look like these standard advertising shots. I think it's pretty amazing. Uh, here at the skate ramp, uh, let's see what else we got. It's interesting. A guy at the gym who was completely ripped, unlike me. Then, <laughs> and then here, here's this is a cool one too because this is one um, that I used in my in my video. Actually, here's a guy and he's gonna talk about how awesome um, bath water is. Uh, anyway, so that's a product, and then you can even do this with a pet. Also, this is my. Sadly, deceased pet Brixton, he, he passed away um, April 1st, but I basically eternalized him. By, I, I took a lot of pictures of him while he was around, so those are paying off right now. As you can see, these are pretty amazing. They look just like him. Very consistent also in style, just like uh, when it's a human. So you can do this really well with a pet as well as with a person. And yeah, that's uh, something you can do. You can use your cat or whatever animal you have. So have fun with that. Well, that's it, I think. That's all there's to it. And this is how you create amazing renders with custom trained LoRa's on Astria. I just wanted to find, finalize with the fact that this was not a paid video. Uh, these credits are my own. I have been given some credits all the way in the beginning by Astria to try it out. And uh, I just loved it, so I'm going to keep using it because it's so easy and the results are so good. And I think you should try it too. So that's it. Thank you so much for making it all the way through the end of this video. And I hope you liked it and see you again soon. Bye.